Hi. Well, dang, looks like we might have another one with Project Keyboard. I'll leave the screenshot of Dale's comment on the screen if you want any advice on how to go about disputing the charge, since I think that it contains some valuable information. Project Keyboard was not as big of a vendor compared to Mexico, though they did run GMK Bingsu R2 which was a popular set, so I think that there's still a decent amount of folks who are affected by this. To be honest, I can't say that I didn't see this coming since the updates had been getting more and more sporadic and scarce, and now nothing at all, so I wasn't all that shocked when I saw the post on Reddit. Honestly, at this point, I think that the best way to go about this hobby is to buy in stock whenever possible. This isn't to demonize all vendors or designers who are in group buys, since there are still many good ones out there, but it has become extremely clear that there needs to be more accountability and transparency in this hobby. On a side note, has anyone looked at Mech Market recently? Historically, Mech Market has been a place where people want to scalp their sets and keyboards for eye-watering prices, so unless you had a ton of money to burn, it wasn't somewhere you would look to buy aftermarket parts. However, recently, I've noticed that prices have fallen quite dramatically and you can now buy sets or keyboards for group buy price, or sometimes even below that. As a quick disclaimer, Mech Market can be hit or miss, and there are some scammers that exist on that platform so please tread carefully if you do decide to buy from there. But, if you're willing to take that risk, you might be able to snag some deals. Anyways, without further ado...
For this week's group buy, I wasn't too interested in the sets that are available, though I do think that MW Evil AI looks quite nice. It's been a chaotic and tough few months for Milky Way Keys trying to deal with the fallout of Mexican Co. Mexican Co. was the main US vendor and had taken the money for many Milky Way sets, but never sent over the money, leaving them in a tough position. They eventually decided to sell off the Mexican Co. sets while offering a discount to those affected, which I know isn't ideal for those who are scammed by Mexican Co., but it was really the best they could do considering the fact that they themselves were facing financial ruin due to Mexican Co.'s irresponsible decisions. Anyways, back to the actual keycaps. The design itself is quite simplistic, though I do like the new designs for the modifier keys. There is a novelties kit that is also being offered for this group buy, and while they do look nice as well, I don't think that it's necessary to buy since the base kit looks great on its own. There is also a Nord kit, though I noticed that it wasn't being offered by the US vendor, Divinikeys, probably because folks in America don't usually buy this kit for keycaps. There are also a couple of different collabs like a desk mat and Hibby novelties, but I didn't see them on the product page which gives me the impression that they might not be ready just yet. I feel like they probably should have waited a bit for the collabs to be ready just because that way the artisan keycaps and desk mats could actually be paired with the keycap set on the product page which would help with sales, but I guess it is what it is. If you've been looking for a clean looking set or maybe something similar to GMK Red Alert or GMK Classic Red, do consider MW Evil AI. The AM AFA is now back for another round. I do think that the timing is kind of unfortunate though, because the sale goes live towards the tail end of the Type K group buy. The design language of the two keyboards are quite different, but they are both Alice style keyboards at a very premium price point, so I feel like folks who buy one probably won't be able to consider the other as their wallets might be hurting a little. Then again, I don't really know if the customer base that the Angry Mail is aiming for really intersects with the people that would buy the Type K, because while the Type K has a clean and simplistic look, the AM AFA is designed to be super over the top and unique and has a variety of color options. The AM AFA R2, similar to the R1 sale, also offers a complete bundle at $795. This includes both keycaps and switches, which isn't a bad deal considering the fact that the base keyboard itself costs $680. If you are new to the hobby and don't want to spend time waiting or researching for different keycaps and switches, this might be a good option if you have the money to afford it. For me personally, if I was looking to spend that much money on an Alice keyboard, I'd probably go with the Type-K, not only because I prefer the cleaner design language, but also the Type-K PCB has QMK or VIA support, while the AM AFA uses proprietary software. I haven't used Angry Mail software before, though I have seen complaints about it. It is possible that they've really improved on it and now it's less of a hassle to use, so if you happen to be an owner of an Angry Mail keyboard, let me know in the comments below. If you don't mind proprietary software, want something that will really stand out on your desk, and have some cash to burn, you can take a look at the AM AFA R2. I've been following this project for some time now, so I was really excited to see that the Igloo is now finally available for group buy. There's only one issue for me, which is that there have been so many cool boards that recently went up for sale, or are currently on sale, specifically the TKD Cycle 7 and the Type K, so I'm struggling to balance my purchases. I did buy a TKD Cycle 7 because the value that the Cycle 7 provides at that price point is just insane. But that now brings me to my current dilemma, because the Cycle 7 and Igloo are both 70% keyboards, and I am still debating on whether I want to join in on the Type K. I have a strong suspicion that I'll probably crack and get a Type K in the end, but that means that I really should not buy another keyboard even though I love the design of the Igloo. There are three color options available for the group buy. Snow White, Winter Blue, and Ice Burgundy. Snow White and Winter Blue both match the theme of the keyboard better, but I think that the two colors that look the best are Snow White and Ice Burgundy, though I would probably pick Snow White because I'm a sucker for matching themes. The mounting style for the Igloo is Gion's Tadpole Mount, which I've never experienced before since I didn't end up picking up a Frog TKL, but I have heard quite good things about it. It definitely won't be as flexy as the standard Gaskin Mount board, and I've heard that it tends to be quite similar to Top Mount. One thing to keep in mind is that the Igloo is a plateless keyboard, so as a result, the PCB is a solder PCB and not hot swap. Most keyboards nowadays provide hot swap PCBs as an option, but it wasn't all that common back in the day. Like I've said in previous videos, soldering is a really good skill to pick up, 
And although it may seem intimidating, it's not actually all that hard to learn, so I would recommend that you give it a try. There are a lot of good videos on how to solder, and if you want one specific to keyboards, I highly recommend the video from Black Simon. Like the pictures in the product page, the first set that came to my mind when I saw this keyboard was GMK Yidi, though there are a ton of other good sets that would pair quite well with this Snow White or Winter Blue such as GMK Iceberg, GMK Shoko, or GMK slash MW Fuyu. Unfortunately, I probably won't be able to join it on the group buy due to the timing of the sale. If this had gone on sale a couple months earlier, I probably would have got one immediately because I had a bit of a down period where I wasn't buying anything. I do hope that the group buy is successful for the designer, and maybe if there's an R2 in the future, I'll pick one up then.